so the new publication that we have coming out focuses on trying to enhance stem cell delivery into patient hearts, in particular into patients with heart failure. This catheter features a new type of needle. It's a nitinol needle. It's an alloy, uh, which is curved. It has a 75 degree curve in it. And it has side holes instead of having just an end hole, which we found dramatically augments uh, stem cell retention into the heart. Uh, the catheter is uh, sized so that it can be used uh, during uh, procedures that are similar to ones that are already ongoing in the cath lab. The sheaths that we would use to deliver the catheter into the patient are identical to ones that are already in use. Um, the visualization of the catheter would be through fluoroscopy, which is already in practice, or ultrasound, which again is already actively being used uh, in, the catheter, in the cath lab. The catheter was, in our study, initially tested in large animals so that we could uh, ensure that it was safe, it was biocompatible with stem cells, uh, that it would allow um, adequate stem cell delivery and it would show an improvement versus what was already being used uh, uh, with cell therapy trials. This catheter has now been used in patients as part of an ongoing trial in heart failure in Europe and uh, to have it uh, used in patients, that trial would have to actually get FDA approval. So to actually have this catheter be employed uh, for therapy into man, it would have to undergo evaluation in combination with the therapy, and then it would be able to be used uh, with patients. Um, our expectation is that we'll be able to use uh, this catheter in man uh, using uh, any stem cell that you really want to deliver into the heart. On top of that, we've now tested this catheter with a variety of other biologics um, and have shown that it augments the delivery of those biologics as well. And so the expectation is that in the next five years that this catheter will become a workhorse for us in delivering regenerative solutions to our patients. The trial that um, this catheter is being used in is called CHART-1. And what this means is that the catheter is um, delivering stem cells that are infused into it, into the inside wall of the heart. Uh, the patients that are being treated are patients with end-stage heart failure. So these are individuals who, in the last year, two or three, suffered a heart attack. And because of the heart attack, their heart function became extremely poor and uh, really no options exist for them anymore in terms of medications or devices that can try and help their heart regain function. So they, they've uh, been recruited into this trial because we feel based on our previous clinical work that uh, the cells that we're going to use, they're called cardiopoietic stem cells, will actually benefit, benefit these patients. And this catheter um, will be utilized to deliver uh, the stem cells into the inside uh, part of the heart uh, uh, in, in an effort to try and help the patient population. The unique thing uh, with CHART-1 versus the SECURE trial that we published in the last year is that this catheter has a three to four fold increase in its capacity to have stem cells stay within the heart itself. So we anticipate that whatever benefit we got with the uh, last trial uh, we may be able to build on that through use of this catheter in combination with our stem cell technology. So the unique aspect of this catheter versus uh, other catheters that uh, are already, uh, have already been used in clinical trials is really the needle. Uh, if you think about a needle, it's really a straight object with an end hole. In this case, uh, our needle is curved. In other words, instead of it being a straight cylinder, it is a curved cylinder. And instead of it having just an end hole, it has side holes. Now, what, why is that beneficial? Well, if you have only an end hole and you're delivering stem cells into the inside part of a heart, the heart is a beating organ. And so, as these cells are being injected through an end hole, they create a a pocket of elevated pressure just at that one hole. And since you have a straight needle, you have a straight line for that product to come right out with every heart contraction. 
So what we've noticed is that if you use a straight needle with an end hole, you only get around 8 or 9 percent retention of your stem cell product in the heart. Versus this catheter, which has a curved trajectory and side holes, so you don't have that high pressure at the end of the needle, nor do you have a straight line for these cells to just be pushed back out with every contraction. So with that, we're able to get 30 or 40 percent retention of our product which is a dramatic improvement versus what was already there.